Welcome to Moving Math and Science, where we upload a new math, science, or motivation video every day. In this video, I'd like to talk about multiplying and dividing rational numbers. And I've got four example problems that you may encounter. We have multiplying a fraction, dividing a fraction, multiplying a decimal, and last we'll do dividing. You can see that they're dividing a decimal. Okay, so, and I'll try to give a couple tips or shortcuts. First off, whenever you multiply fractions, you just multiply the numerator and the de denominator straight across. So 3 times 2 is 6, and seven, 4 times 7 is 28. Now, at this point, you simplify. And if you have a little trouble with simplification, you can use um, this technique, the latter technique. You, divide, you write the numerator first, the denominator second. Then you d draw this box underneath and divide by any number you can think of that divides into both of them. And I know that 2 goes into both of them because they are even numbers. So 2 goes into 6 3 times. 2 goes into 28, um, what is that, 14 times. Draw a line underneath. And at this point, um, 3 will go into 3, but 3 will not go into 14. So I'm down to a prime number. I cannot divide anymore. So that becomes your fraction. So the answer is 3 fourteenths. Okay? So that's a nice way to simplify. Next, when you divide fractions, you use the rule you keep the first fraction the same, change the sign, flip the last fraction. So it would be 3 fourths times 8 over 2. And then apply the rules of multiplication. 8 times 3 is 8 16 24. 4 times 2 is 8. Now I have an improper fraction, so I just divide 24 by 8. And that goes 3 times, so the answer is 3. So there the shortcut is keep, change, flip. Next we multiply decimals. And the shortcut short cut or trip tip there, sorry I'm having a hard time, is just First multiply and act as if there are no decimals. And then what you do is you count how many decimals are to the right. So we have one, two, three, and your final answer needs to have the same number of decimals to the right. So let me show you how that works. 232 times 34. Okay, four times two is eight. I'll try to go quickly through this. Four times three is 12, carry the one. That's 8 plus 1 is 9, then 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, and that is 6 again. Now bring down the 8, add 6 plus 2, 9 plus 9 is 18, carry the 1, that's 7. So now we have 7.7888, and I need 3 decimals to the right, so I go 1, 2, 3, so the answer is 7. 0.888. And finally, whenever you divide decimals, you uh, let's set this up. We have point, um, excuse me, 3.4 divided by 0.12. And I think it's easier when you divide uh, decimals if you set it up in this format. You cannot have a decimal to the left of any number on the outside in the numerator. So what we do is we're going to move it two places to the right. So this becomes 12 and whatever you do on the outside you need to do on the inside. So I'm going to move the decimal place two places and that becomes 340. So again the decimal on the outside number needs to be uh, here so I needed to move it two places to accomplish this goal. And so what I do on the outside, I do on the inside. So I moved it two places. And I'll put a zero there. Now what you do is I'm going to go ahead. Now the decimal is here. So I'm going to place the decimal there. Okay, And now you just do uh, division. And so 12 will go into 34. What is that? Two times. And that becomes 24. And so... That becomes 10. Bring down the 0. 12 will go into um, 108 times, and that is 96. 
excuse me, not 94, 96, sorry, that's a messy 96. Subtract, that becomes a 4, bring down another 0. 12 will go into 4 three times, which is 36. And you'll see from here you get a repeating fraction. Okay, so it becomes 28.33. Notice how I moved the decimal up there so you could visually see that. Anyway, that's how you divide decimals. Hope this helps with some tricks and tips for dividing and multiplying rational numbers. Boomoo Math uploads a new math video every day. And science and motivation. Please subscribe and share. Thanks for watching.